Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be exploring one of the earliest points of contention regarding 343's new arc direction and a subject that's been requested innumerable times. So let's talk about why the Master Chief's armor looks so different in Halo 4. When Halo 4 was first announced at E3 2011, the biggest point of discussion was the Chief's new armor. Was it an arbitrary art change? Was there a canon reason for the new look? If so, what was it? In a number of post-E3 interviews, it was revealed that, while the look was mostly the result of a new art direction under 343 Industries, there was a canon explanation. In October of that year, we got our first hint at the answer from Halo Glasslands. In the book, it was revealed that Mjolnir Mark VII had nanomachines capable of repairing and altering the suit. Of course, this is Mark VII, not Mark VI. Nevertheless, it would become relevant to the discussion. In April of 2012, we got our next hint at the truth in a video from Game Informer. In the video, titled The Science Behind Halo, 343 Industries Franchise Development Director Frank O'Connor directly stated that the Chief's armor had been repaired by nanobots. Here's the exact quote. Fans were upset of the idea of nanobots making repairs to uh, the, the Chief's armor, which is, if we're in the 26th century and nanotechnology hasn't advanced beyond where it is today, then we're probably in a lot of trouble. And this is an Suddenly we knew that the Chief's armor definitely was not a retcon, but was an upgraded variant of the Mark VI that he'd had since Halo 2. Our final clues came from a Halo bulletin in September and the Halo 4 game page. The game page referred to the Chief's armor as Upgraded Mark VI, Sadly, the page has long since been dead, so I don't really have a screenshot to share. And while the old bulletins from before the recent update to Halo Waypoint are no longer available, Halo.Bungie.org does have an archive I can source. In the September 5th bulletin for 2012, then-community manager Jessica B.S. Angel Shea noted that the Chief's armor in Halo 4 was, quote, very fancy, very custom, very unique, Cortana special armor. And so we have a general idea of what happened. In the four years, seven months, and ten days between the end of Halo 3 and the start of Halo 4, Cortana used nanomachines to upgrade and repair the Chief's armor. Of course, this isn't the full story. Where did the nanomachines come from? If Cortana was upgrading and repairing the suit, why did the gash on the right breastplate remain? Let's tackle these in order, starting with the nanomachines question. If I had made this video any time last year, I would have said that the nanomachines were likely already on board the Dawn. Warthogs use nanomachines to convert water sources into hydrogen fuel, so Cortana could have easily repurposed them. However, the Halo 5 beta revealed some very interesting facts about Mjolnir Mark VI. From the description of the Mark VI scarred chest, the Mark VI was able to remain functional until all of its triple redundant auto repair and bypass nodes failed. So the Mark VI does have some sort of built-in auto repair feature. Given the information we got from Frankie in Halo Glasslands, it seems probable that this auto repair system is a rudimentary version of the high-grade nanomachines that are standard in Mark VII. So, whether Cortana solely utilized these systems or appropriated nanomachines from other sources, or hell even both, we can definitely say that the Chief's new armor was not a retcon, but a new look gifted from Cortana herself. Next up, why did the gash in the breastplate remain? There's a lot of speculation about this point, but I think I'm going to stick to the most common theory. To start, we need to understand that the single-player campaign of any Halo game is the way the events occurred in the canon. Essentially, there was one Spartan on Alpha Halo, despite any unique co-op cinematic, only one Spartan in New Mombasa during Halo 2, and the Arbiter did not accompany the Chief into high charity in Halo 3. He showed up later. So technically, we never see a full shot of the Chief's new Halo 4 armor until after he's crashed on Requiem. Given this, it could easily be argued that the gash was a result of John's fall to the surface, though the gash being on the same side as it was in Halo 3 is certainly suspect. The final nail in the coffin for any notion of the Chief's armor being a retcon comes from the Halo 4 visual guide. A small note remarks that the Chief's armor was upgraded by Cortana, the design based on an old iteration of Mark IV armor. However, this is not to say that the armor in Halo 4's prologue is an actual variant of Mark IV. Based on does not necessarily mean looks exactly like, especially since Josh Holmes, the creative director for Halo 4, stated that the opening was canon story-wise, but the armor scene was not. And so, there you go. Cortana upgraded the Chief's suit via nanomachines. The only unfortunate part is that 343 didn't really communicate this in a very effective manner, especially for fans not heavily invested in the fiction. Many could argue that this line from the Chief does explain the aesthetic change. You've been busy. 
Activating the and while I tend to agree, I don't think many fans would consider the purpose of that line to denote the Chief's new look, not without some prompting. So, I hope this helps settle any debates in the future. Relevant sources are linked in the description below for anyone who wants to read slash watch this stuff for themselves. For now, this has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I could express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not be where I am without you. Thanks.